please subscribe. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Weibo link below. You will get four free stocks whenever you sign up. Minimum deposit required, $100. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp, where you get the best prices. 4 a.m. sharp with Weibo. Weeble only the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky and it's not for the risk averse. Good morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Fire Friday, September the 10th. In today's video, I have one play for you. But just please comment below where were you when the World Trade Center collapsed on September 11, 2001. I was about four blocks away at 72 Wall Street working for AIG. Comment below, let me know where you were. Okay, let's continue. Let me delve into yesterday's recap of the markets. The Dow Jones closed down 0.43% yesterday at 34,879. The Dow back below 35k. Na the Nasdaq they closed down 0.25% at 15,248. Okay, Nasdaq hanging on to 15k. Apple, Apple closed down 0.67% at 154 dollars and seven pennies. Apple. Let's jump right into Dave's play today. Dave's play today is a SP play, in and out, grab and go, one and a move. TTOO, TTOO is up 26% at $1.10. They came out with big C news. Go ahead and read up the news on your own time. The higher day thus far in the pre, $1.16, okay? They made a new 52 week low yesterday. Okay, at 85 cents. Um, if this one retracts below 95 cents, this might be a no-go. Let's kick the tires. They wear a market cap of 153 million. They have 158 million in the float. Uh, their 50 day moving average is 99 cents. Their 200 day moving average is $1.31, okay? <laughs> 4% of the float are held by insiders. 17% of the float are held by institution and shorts are 6% of the float. This is TTOO. They have 27 million in revenues. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 162% year over year. Let me say that again. TTOO's quarterly revenue growth is up 162% year over year. They have 53 million in total cash. 53 million total cash. Their total debt is 58 million. Their current ratio is sitting at 6.83 TTOO. Please put on stock today for possible continuation. CEI. I tweeted this one out at 80 cents on Twitter. Okay. CCI is up 11% in the pre at $1.44. After spiking 31% yesterday, they closed at 130 yesterday, okay? Also, please put on stock ISEE, I C I S E E. They're up 24% at 1080 thus far in the pre. The higher day, 1420. This one could gyrate. 1420 higher higher day thus far in the pre four i s e e that's all i have for you ladies and gentlemen enjoy the weekend always set a stop loss always protect your neck always take some profits and please do not invest more than you're willing to lose okay i'll see you when i see you dave natch i'm out boom bam make your next trade your best trade
LEDs. LEDs is up 25% in the pre, sitting at nine dollars and ninety-eight cents. There's no news out. This one is volatile. This one is based out of China. Okay. High of the day thus far in the pre, eleven dollars and sixty cents. Got a lot of money, got a lot of money, invested in a Dave play. Every day, you want your money at? Subscribe to Dave Notch. Foot full gas, rich. Yeah, this is Danny B, the Jingle King. Have a little argument for Gono. Have a little argument for Gono. But here, you know, I'm going to find myself with the money. And instead, I'm going to squander it and go on with foolishness and go along with... You want your money at? Subscribe. So Dave Natch, please me I tell you no. Go on, go make the money no please. Yeah man, wanna do it fast and quick here. Subscribe to Dave Natch. Fast, don't stop. Every day, you want the money go, check Dave's play. Invest. Interest. Bless. Please train well in today's okay, 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 okay. Yeah, delete that stuff out. I right, thank you for watching Dave Natch September the 11th, moment of silence for the 3,000 lives that were lost, September 11, 2001. Comment below, let me know where you were on that dreadful day. I was five blocks away, I'll give you a little story. Five blocks away. Reached work about 10 minutes to 9. There was a lot of paper coming down. Everyone's looking through the window. A lot of paper flying around. All right? So I was saying the damn Yankees won again. I thought it was a ticker tape parade. Then my supervisor was listening to his little radio. He said a plane crashed into the World Trade Center. So I'm like, how the hell did that happen? I'm easy to get paranoid. You know, I grabbed my stuff, went downstairs. Maiden Lane between Pine and Water Street, if you're familiar with the downtown Manhattan area. So we're outside watching the smoke, watching the fire watching the kerfuffle boom second plane hit loud explosion big ball of flames i've never heard an explosion this loud in my life i don't know what to do i'm like this is not good this can't be just an accident about 10 15 minutes later I heard someone say, run, the building is coming down. So I'm figuring it's going to fall this way, not implode. So I started to run towards the seat.